Hello, in this video, we will learn what a bridge rectifier is, how a bridge rectifier works, about the different types of bridge rectifiers, and finally, where you can use them. Okay, assuming that you're an electronic enthusiast, you would already know that DC signals are used for powering electronic devices instead of batteries. You would also know that the circuit which converts the AC signal into a DC signal is known as a rectifier. A rectifier circuit is a half-wave rectifier if it only permits one half of the cycle through. A full-wave rectifier permits both the top half and the bottom half of the cycle through while converting the bottom half to the same polarity as the top. Bridge rectifiers are the most popular of the full-wave rectifiers and usually come in pre-assembled modules. It uses four diodes to output a signal that is always of the same polarity, regardless of the polarities of the input AC signal. Now, let's see how it works. An AC signal is applied at the input terminals A and B, and in its first positive half cycle, the diodes D2 and D3 become forward biased and start conducting. At the same time, the diodes D1 and D4 are reverse biased and do not conduct. The current flows through the load resistor via the two forward biased diodes. The voltage seen at the output is positive. Now, during the negative half cycle of the AC signal, the diodes D1 and D4 are forward biased, and diodes D2 and D3 will become reverse biased. It's worth noting at this point that the current flowing through the load resistor is going in the same direction as it did with the positive half cycle. Therefore, no matter the polarity of the input signal, the output polarity will always be the same. Nonetheless, you can see that this output voltage is not a pure DC voltage, as it's pulsating in nature. To produce a pure DC signal, you can connect one or more capacitors in parallel with the load resistor. These capacitors will help filter or smooth the pulsating DC voltage and convert it to as pure a DC voltage as possible with minimum ripple. These bridge rectifiers are the single phase type. They convert a single phase AC input into pulsating DC. Another type of bridge rectifier is the three phase type. This type converts three phase AC into pulsating DC. The basic three phase bridge rectifier is usually made up of six diodes and has five terminals, as shown in the diagram. Note the unfiltered waveform coming directly from the bridge has a cleaner pulsating DC output that would require less filtering. More advanced three-phase bridge rectifiers add other components to the basic design and may have additional terminals. The bridge rectifiers that we just discussed are not controlled, but we can make them fully controllable by replacing each of the diodes with a thyristor. Bridge rectifiers are most often used in both switch mode and linear power supplies. Many battery chargers also make use of this type of rectifier in their design. Some of the higher current types can be found in welders and even wind turbines. Okay, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below.